Hi, Anna. All right. Let's get to the bottom of all this. We've got 30 minutes of spiritual healing, and we are going to focus on clearing out dark clutter, entities, attachments, anything of that kind. Um, so let me just relax, and that's the primary focus here. And then anything else additional if we have time. So I'm just going to relax, and we're just going to get right down to business here. It's something, uh, something jolly that I feel in my heart right now. <laughs> And it's starting to relax some. I'm starting to calm down. I'm starting to, I'm opening a door. It's dark in the hallway. I'm opening a door. On the other side of the door is basically, I'm stepping out and it's quite a giant space. And it's an empty, dark cavern at this point in time. But it's interesting, too, because it's sort of like you step to the edge of nowhere. <laughs> and nowhere in, in nowhere is complete darkness. But it's interesting because it simultaneously is pitch dark full of darkness. And it's not the kind of darkness where you turn on the light and it's just air and there's a room in there. There's something to this. There's something like it's thick it's got a consciousness of its own kind it is just this um it's alive somehow i i don't know the words to define it i'm on a cliff side there's a giant space here it's completely dark i could step off of the cliff and then fall to my death i mean it seems empty but it is not empty it is just filled with darkness so let's see what we can find in here i'm inspired to use my finger and flick and create a flame in here I don't know why, but I'm really jolly and happy. I'm even giggling. <laughs> I'm doing something like with this white. It's literally a white flame and it's like on my thumb and I'm going to like this and it's just going to fly flame throwing and it's white fire. It's pretty. It's gorgeous white fire. As I do this, it starts to showcase that there's something hiding in the darkness. It's kind of like Freddy Fazbear from like, you know, the pizzeria, like they hide in the darkness and then <laughs> I, I, I don't know much about this game, but I do know just enough. <laughs> anyway, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, there's something in the darkness and the, it's just enough light where I can see it. And it's like, <gasps> ah! you know, and then you want to run away, but you don't because I'm, I'm just here to heal you, right? I want to find what's in there. I want to find out what this is. Okay, it's very strange what this is. So I can only see it when I flame through, and then when the fire dies out, it turns pitch dark. So I flame through again, and I can see just enough of an outline of what is a massive dragon. This dragon, oddly enough, is like a female dog with like nipples on both sides, and there's something going on here. I know this; these images can be kind of weird sometimes, but they're part of the the magic of the wisdom and the healing. So we just have to go with what comes. <sighs> I just, I don't know what it is. There's something about being in your spiritual atmosphere. I just feel like I'm just, I don't know what. I, I'm like revved up or something. I'm like giggly and I don't, it's kind of exciting, but it's almost like I, I need to calm down just a little bit here. I, I got to be patient, but I'm just so energized, you know? It's just everything is kind of exciting and kind of strange. And it's, I don't know what's going on, you know? But it's part of the wisdom. It's part of the experience. I'm trying to still make out the dragon, and I haven't done any flame throwing. I'm allowing the fire to be manifested out of its own consciousness. So now the white flame is like a, a fiery i mean i don't want to call it a snake it doesn't have a structure it's just flame and it's of a long it's like six feet long or something like that and it's just white flame of fire and it's just it's like a caterpillar or a snake or something like that and it's just sort of going wherever it wants to go but it seems to be more so just in this circular way i mean it's suspended it can move and it's wanting to move in a circle around this dragon so it helps me to see better. It helps provide illumination and clarity. And it can grow bigger in size or smaller. It can be the size of a little flame or it can be massive. 
It could be big enough to even go all the way around this entire room and then keep coiling around it so now all the walls aren't like a cave or anything. They're covered in this really cool white flame and it goes all the way up like, like I don't know, like we're inside of a beehive or something and it's like covered in flame going all the way up. It's kind of pretty. And it does create a manifest light here. This dragon is crying. This dragon is feels abused. This dragon wants to be nurtured. There's more doorways here. Oh, this is crazy. I'm looking at the dragon trying to comfort the dragon. I'm surprisingly, I've got angel wings in this experience and I'm able to see my angel reflection. And so, and I look like a bird more than an angel. I, anyway, I look like a female and I have like bird feet and some tufts of hair on my elbows and some sort of like curled piece, bone piece on my elbows and then on my feet. It's just kind of like an eagle's feet or something with really big wings and I glow in the dark. I don't, I usually will just enter as my angel self, but I never get to back off and actually see my angel self. So I'm actually helping this dragon while simultaneously there's a split of reflections. I'm seeing a, a man and I can hear his shoes and he's opening a door and there's light but there's darkness and there's quite a few reflections of this man in different places all in the same simultaneously in the same place. So it's kind of overlapping this scene but yet it's separate yet it's kind of overlapping too. Hmm. There's other workers coming in here. There's other entities of the light coming in here. I mean, they're filing in. This is pretty exciting for me. <laughs> because usually I just go in and do the work and I never actually get to see them doing things with me. It's pretty neat. I mean, there's a female one and she's glowing. She kind of looks like... I mean, there's nothing really exciting about her appearance. She kind of looks like... A plain Jane sort of girl um, has a f bangs here. Her hair's not exactly perfect. Like you see, some s sort of spirit guides are usually really beautiful or really perfect, perf you know, reflections, or they have a very distinctive flavor about their identity, so you can place what they're like. And she sort of reminds me of like a schoolgirl that might have been shyer and maybe not the most popular girl, doesn't look like she brushed her hair. Thing is, is she's smiling really big and she's coming in and wanting to help. And there's others behind her, but she's the first one in line. And she's coming off and she's not afraid to step off of this cliffside and take the plunge to where we are. It's crazy because it's almost like a swarm of souls or spirits coming in through the door and instantly into the space. It's crazy what's going on. I don't know what to how to describe it. A bunch of spirits uh, entered into the space where my angel soul is. My angel soul is in the center where this dragon is. The walls are covered in white light flames. That's just enough to create light in the center. And I mean, it is what it is. So these entities come in and now they're sort of spinning around and really fast creating light, more light. And it's circular light wrapping around this dragon who's been hurt. They're protecting you. They're protecting you. The, this somehow, this dragon, this dragon is kind of cartoonish in that it has some hair and it looks... I mean, dragons should just have scales, but it has kind of a, like a part in the center and just like straw hair or something. Um, but it's very, it's very distinctive showcasing female, like a dog, you know, with nipples on either side and several in a row. And she feels like her belly is swollen as well. I don't know if she's pregnant or she's sick or she's so unhappy. She feels like she's got a stomach ache. She's laying down now. She doesn't want to terrify us. She's welcoming of us. She's been really exhausted for a while. It's how this feels. I'm comforting her for some reason. I, I'm, I'm really shocked by what this is all about. There's a lot of light surrounding and it's creating like an egg shape. 
It was always an egg shape. And this white flame, and I'm here. I'm not allowed to go to the, whatever that other thing was just yet, so... I'm just watching, and I'm choosing patience. There's something about this, because in this whole experience, patience has not been the virtue. It's been pretty happy, though, and excited, which is great. But it seems really strange to be so... So happy and excited in a in a state where there's something definitely not right here and we got to focus on this. We got to alter this and then now we can really have something to be excited and happy about. They're saying they're asking spirits asking if I think that you, you I don't know how to define it. It's like are you ignoring are you ignoring the monster in the room or whatever? It's like, well, you know, I think I don't think there's anything wrong with being positive in life. I think that's a good thing. So I don't know what the monster in the room is about, though. And there's clearly something that needs attention here. And I feel so wound up that I, I can't feel like I can slow down enough to really nurture this part of myself, this part of you. So I'm wondering if you feel like in life maybe it's just go, go, go. But there's some part of you that really needs nurtured. And... And you're really good at being positive and really good at being happy and it's totally genuine and lovely. It's totally lovely. And but yet there's some parts that really a big big part of you needs you to s just stop, take it easy for a little while and really nur be nurturing towards this part of yourself. There's something to this. I'm asking, I'm asking the nether or the space or the you, this part of you that is the excited part, the happy part, I'm saying, can you, can you come with me and, and then we'll work together to figure out how to heal this? This part of you is snippy snappy. It's like, well, what about the guy? Or what if, I, I feel like I need to be doing so many other things except calming down, relaxing and resting. Like, this is fascinating because where is the attention? The attention needs to be on nurturing you. And nothing else then has weight or the va or value when this part of you is healed. I'm trying to, I'm just calming down quite a lot now. It is, I was calming down so much that I feel like oddly shaky. Like I just, it's almost like you've been going so hard, so fast for so long and you don't realize it. And then when you finally stop the engines, it's like, whoa, I was really pushing myself way overboard. I should never have gone so far. I just, I was handling it. I thought I was handling it. But now my body is showing me that I was way overdoing it. I think we we I think there's times in life where that happens. It's like studying for finals and two weeks of living off of coffee and and then you it's finally over. It's like, wow, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> but this feels like a long span of time. This doesn't feel like two weeks. This feels like a life experience that has gone longer than, you know, like like years or so. There is more consideration of this now. There is more patience. There is more open-mindedness to this. Focus. So, it's patient and I really like that. There's something about the darkness though here. We have these barriers of protection but it has is something I don't know how it's leaking through. Some part of you is got um, a weak weakened element to you. I'm not sure where it's coming from yet, but I'm acknowledging that there's darkness still in the space, and it's getting thicker, and it is making it hard again for me to see this, even though I've got all of this light going everywhere. So we've got to see what this is about. This shows as a big, massive black hand. 
there's an angel of light here as well. I'm telling you, you have quite a massive protective barrier. I mean, there's are there I should I've never seen this many entities coming into the scene uh, just for this. So we need to figure out how we can work with them to, in order to g get you locked tight in there without anything seeping in. See what's going on here. I just feel like I've got to be patient. This is bi there's a bigger maze of wisdom in all of this and we have to start somewhere. So I'm not allowed to get to them just yet. They're saying, who is them? Who is more important? Is it them or is it this part of you that is desperately in pain and needs healing? It's like, there's a reason why they aren't, there's a reason for all of this. I really, it's sort of like, so when I see this stuff, I see a lot of the reason why people start feeling overwhelmed or feeling like they are possessed or feeling like, it's because they're letting them, there's some part of you that kind of gets sensitive and you start hearing things or feeling the darker side of things. And that actually is kind of an onset of, different different things i mean different motivations can cause this to happen and so so this case right here this scenario this it's not a demon possession so much as it is life is really there's something about a life change that has to take place so either you don't change it and then your body falls apart or you don't change it and now you start to have some spiritual sensitivities so it's sort of like it becomes the alarm clock that says you have to make changes in your life in order to purify this properly so it just becomes a new life journey or just a transformation. It's, some, it's good for, for your journey to learn this stuff, figure out how to re-solidify and balance your mind, body, and emotions and all of that stuff. I'm, all right, it's final, it's done. I'm, I'm going to go quiet for a little bit and I'm going to start doing my work and then they're letting me now. <laughs> they let me really do stuff. And so I'm going to do that and then I'll tell you what happens, okay? This is fascinating. We are inside of a giant egg. <laughs> and this this dragon or whatever is also going through a rebirth of its identity. That's part of what all this is about. We're not only in we're in a giant egg about to be reborn while simultaneously this part of you is also going through a rebirth. So it's quite huge. And so as we're here, there's more reflections here. I can't see everybody. There's an interesting humming noise that we make as we focus on releasing dark entities or dark energy vibrations. And as that happens, there's a snake of energy that's coming up through the center of the ground. So I'm still focusing. There's quite an energy fluctuation here. I'm allowed to enter into that man's space now. He's in the reflection. He works with mirrors. I look at myself, but he is somehow here. So I choose not to look at anything at all. I break all of the mirrors and now there are no illusions. He is showing me that he is well connected with this egg of your rebirth. So I just do stuff like that. 
So I'm helping him to see that it is not to be any longer. It is time to be removed. This was extremely effective. <sighs> Basically, I'm still sort of in it, so give me a minute here, please. <sighs> I'm telling you, there's a lot of angels involved. I basically called archangels to come, three archangels. They came, they, they're both, it's a lot, because there was a lot taking place simultaneously. I'm talking to this entity, I'm, I'm removing him, I'm entering him into the light. While I'm doing that, I'm calling three archangels. Three archangels enter, and they enter into this egg. And in the egg, they shine certain versions of light, share energy vibrations. And what was like a bunch of tree roots and branches and stuff sticking into this egg, which I was not able to see, it just d removed themselves. And now the egg is completely exposed without anything even attached to it at all. And now the egg is actually inspired to open up to the light and there's angels even coming down this is really unusual because i don't often see angels doing all the work or spirits coming in to help me it's very refreshing you have a lot of friends you have a lot of friends in the spirit room a lot of friends who are here to help you a lot of friends that want to lift you out of this experience This entity is still trying to say that he has not been detached. I'm still working on transforming him, but I needed to tell you what was going on thus far. So let me focus back on him again. <sighs> He's pretty persistent with you. He's pretty persistent with his goals or role with you. Which is okay. I mean, that's pretty normal that they're like that. They don't like it when you come in and tell them no. <laughs> because now you're taking your power back, right? You tell them no, well now what are they going to do? <laughs> so you show them a new pathway. That's what my approach. I show them a new pathway. If, we, if you are going to be here and I'm going to be here with you, then I'm showing you the divine pathway back into the light of all. It is your divine purpose now to be a reflection of a new version of love. Not chaos love, infinite light and love of that kind. So. This is a really big deal. You've really needed this. There's a lot of wisdom to be had here in order to fully accomplish this work because there's more there's more to it. There's a lot going on here. I'm able to feel the depth of this. The work is effective, but there's other clouds of consciousness is trying to swarm in here coming from other places. So we got to figure out what we can do here to purify the entire space and I've got seven minutes let's see hmm I'm transforming him there's one thing I can do right now that ensures that this is not a bother for you and I'm ensuring that you as this dragon reflection in the egg that is filled with white light is going to pro follow through with its transformation process. So that's what I can do right now. So let's see what's... I'm in his space. I'm in his space. There are no mirrors here. It is just darkness here. He has some red to his reflection. 
He's quite solemn in his demeanor. I don't know whether he's a dark energy or he's wearing a suit with like red under like some there's some very thin light of red in the dark around him. There's something honestly there's something I appreciate about his patience. There's something I appreciate about his style for some reason. There's something I like about his style, so let's see. He also has a dragon reflection too. I'm opening his space up to the light of all. I'm telling him that it is time now. I'm looking into his eyes and I'm telling him it is time now. I'm entering into his expression. I am telling him it is time now. pretty big deal. It's a pretty big dude. <sighs> Let me keep focusing here. I'm still with it. I'll tell you what happens. I just need to focus. exhausting <laughs> I'm still focusing on it it's happening but it's taking a lot to do it it's happening all right this is a big deal basically I'm seeing a field of flowers right now, pink flowers. I'm still focusing because he's still in a in a sort of not quite there. I mean, he's there, but I just need to make sure that he's fully did it. And so entering into him, I was able to see quite a space and there was a lot of darkness. I mean, I don't get what that was down there. I was opened up to a space that inside of it, I don't know, like a hundred things are down there. And they're all part of his clan of chaos. And so I was able to break open the space and fill it with divine light from heaven as I'm breaking his illusions and filling him with divine light. And now he's forced to transform. All of this has to be, to be returned to the light. That's final. It has to go into the light. It's done. That is what it is. It is just done. And so uh, that's 
uh, where I'm at right now. So in the process of finalizing this, I'm entering into a field of pink flowers and flower petals all over the place, but I'm not feeling complete yet with this. I just, I have not gotten to a complete state yet with it. So I'm waiting. There's an angel or somebody coming down from the sky to talk to me while I'm simultaneously ensuring that this work is done. That was a big deal. <sighs> I'm not sure how you got intertwined with that guy. He's quiet, he's quiet, but he is contaminating. But he's not anymore. And his ban of thugs or whatever that was is part of the divine light as well. But I'm waiting this out a little bit longer because my humanness is not... I need more confidence from the spirit realm that this is done and over with. I literally... Because I entered into him, our souls intertwine. So in this state of light in heaven, that's why the angel came. I literally just barfed him out. <laughs> Now my cords are no longer tied and his reflection is in the light of all with heaven. He has not wanted this at all. <sighs> There's more work to be done here. I have to stay focused. I can't stop right now, so I have to stay focused. Yeah, this is a lot more work for us than 30 minutes. I mean, this is like massive fields of work. And so I don't get how this happened to you. Because it's sort of like, you're really happy, but this is serious. I mean, this is serious. They're helping to disconnect me from the work. I, this is as best as I can do right now. So I'm being, literally, I'm being pulled out of your energy field right now. And we're completely disconnected from you. And then I'm being washed by heavenly light and pushed away. So this is the best that I can do for right now. That was quite a wash. But there's a lot more I can do for you. It's just... Now that we, this is all, this is all that I can do for 30 minutes. What this was turning into was there's, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how you, you have to, we're talking a lot going on here. And it's interesting because you're also very well protected. But how is it that you don't feel like it's working or I don't know how that's, just a minute. When I'm talking to you, I'm entering back in, and so either I have to transform them right now, or I have to separate from the work entirely. So it stinks because if I had a little bit more time, I could do a lot more work. So this is this is the best that I can do for you for right now, okay, Anna? So what I'm going to do is create a light barrier, and this is going to be ingested by the dragon and the egg, okay? I have three archangels surrounding you. You're in a white flame of protection. You have to inhale the white light, okay? You have to keep inhaling the white light. And you have to know that it is the only thing that's real. None of this garbage is, they're just all, you know, jerks on the bus trying to toy with you. And you just say, uh, no thanks. Get the freaking hell away from me. I don't want to be on this bus with a bunch of jerks. So I say no. Now get away 
pray for me. I mean, if you have to say no and be the freaky loony bin that is like saying no, heavenly light surround me, heavenly light surround me, and you just say it all day long, like just obsessed with it. I mean, that works. That stuff works. How, how often should I protect myself? All day long if you need to. Every time you get a weird thought or every time something doesn't feel right, you demand that heaven shine its light upon you, fill you with the light of all, and remove whatever that was. You say, Archangel Michael, I allow you to enter my spiritual atmosphere, and then I ask for your divine light in order to remove that entity from my spiritual atmosphere. If you have to do it a hundred times in a day, you do it, and you do it every single day for as many days as it takes until now you only feel like saying it 50 times a day. And then now, after several months, you only feel like doing it 25 times a day. It will get better and better. You have to trust. When you're dealing with a spiritual issue, you have to trust that the spirit realm is there to help you with spiritual issues. As human beings, we feel like, well, I can't see them. I don't know how to get rid of them. They seem like they're bigger than me. No, they are not bigger than you. you they are not ever bigger than you. And so you have to d just demand. You have to trust. You have to know that heavenly light is upon you all the time. And then you, if you don't feel like it's there, you have to trust it. And you say, I fill myself with a divine light. I fill myself with heavenly light. Nothing can penetrate this nothing all right so so i am got you protected in light okay now inhale it ingest it i'm allowing the dragon to find the confidence to get up and stop feeling sick it's got to get up and feel strong and confident okay this is a lot bigger job than it appears to be but that's okay part of it is we have i have to enter the space and i have to start developing the wisdom and the understanding and then i get to start doing a journey in order to um clear out the cobwebs right so now i'm shining the light now i get to see a lot more so that that's the best that i can do for you right now anna so take the advice okay and if you want to get more work with me please do there's a lot i could do if we did a soul rebirth journey i would be able to get all of this stuff cleared out of there Two hours of spiritual healing is hardcore, and it does transform you. It does transform your life, especially with spiritual conflicts like this. Now, now I can go in there and do all this massive work, and I can help transform them. And when they, you know, 30 minutes later, more junk comes, I can transform that. 30 minutes later, more junk comes, I can transform that. And it's amazing all the burdens and barriers and spiritual garbage I can clean out of you in two hours. So... So that's the best that I can tell you for right now, okay? So, you need to know that you are surrounded in light. Do not let your mind tell you feel fragile or anything of that kind, okay? Uh, you're protected, okay? Heaven loves you. Heaven is not going to let this happen to you unless you don't ask. You got to ask for help, okay? Ask for help a hundred times a day if that's what it takes. And then you trust that it is there for you. So... Okay, so that is all I'm going to do for this video, okay? Thank you for connecting with me. I'm really glad that I could share this amount of work with you because you needed it. So, um, so that is all for now. And uh, for those of you watching in the audience, if you would like to experience spiritual healing with me, I provide 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour of healing in a spiritual healing gift, or two, up to two hours per session for a soul rebirth journey. And you can find me at my website. It's abbynormalswisdomquest.com. So thank you for watching.